How long have you been with me now for, Matt? Uh, two, two weeks. Two weeks, you've learned quite a lot. I mean, you've been fitting boils, haven't you? Yeah, I've met, yeah. illegally, but... Why would you say, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> under close supervision of all your gas safe guys out there, so we're going to get underway now. Close so, supervision? No, that's a lie. He just dumps me on jobs and leaves me. <laughs> and I've got to wing it. <laughs> some time I've just been absolutely manic on the forefront uh, new staff members coming in new engineers coming in just getting embedded in the company and stuff so I found that my time was being used a lot just making sure business is running smooth and things keep running forward but now we're back in control hope you enjoy this one I'm out with Matty today on site we're taking out a floor standing mustard gas boiler putting an unvented cylinder in with a Vogue uh, we've got the lads up on a bathroom suite as well Luke and Pat in uh, Camerton but try to get some more footage later on in the video of the new guy starting but he's settled in really really well uh, I think he's a great asset to the company just like Pat just like Matt so stay tuned guys and we'll see you shortly so we've just been at site for past five minutes now both of you Luke's dropped some stroll and roll off so uh, you'll have seen in the recent video with this one that we did actually come and quote this one uh, we mentioned about all the pipe work getting cut and altered so we are at the stage now where the boiler is ready to be all stripped out completely so this is coming out all the pipe work's getting reconfigured the plan is going to be we're going to chase the pipe work all in the wall up there cylinder cupboard is directly above here so plan there again, like I say, get it all in the ceiling void and go from there. We'll take part of this ceiling down because that is getting renewed, re-plasterboard, so it'll make it easier for us and just cut all this mess out uh, and get rid of these as well. I believe that these are the old hot and cold bar films, so these will get moved and we can get rid of them as well. Matt has uh, got all sheeted up now, just underway with draining, so we'll start getting cut out and keep you updated. So I don't know what it is lately, but work has been manic, but you know, Every day is a good day when you're working with. Watch that step, mate. <laughs> I've done it three times already. <laughs> what went with today, mate? I don't know, but I've put down there. What do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think to this number one apprentice in the UK or what? To be fair, you're pretty much from the company, don't you? Yeah, I'm gaffer now. Yeah, I can back build the company. We'd be done if you wanted, wouldn't we? I'm a great man manager. I'm out of it, the lads. <laughs> So I just drained down now, set up, good to go. We've got stroll mold upstairs. Uh, gonna start getting this stripped out now. I've got all my tools set up, ready to go. So let's make sure the area is nice and uh, secure. And get this all done. Might as well the radios on. This is little uh, velocity road bag. Looking nice, I don't know what this is. This is a new solder and tray on you and sweat box. Pretty fab stuff on it. <laughs> You can do a little demonstration there. Absolutely not. <laughs> What's this? You don't know. What is it? You tell me. Uh, washing machine. Yeah, I was going to cut that. That was terrible. <laughs> Come on, keep going, keep going. Fine. So, not messing about this one. Disconnected electrics from the fuel spare. We've we'll cut all the wiring and all stuff. You are? You've made safe isolation. Made safe isolation, safe isolation procedure. The circuit board. We've got to check the RCD, check the RCD circuit board, disconnect the fuel. You've off as well, put one in panel. Matty, I've disconnected the wires. So why's it going to be live? <laughs> so we have, gas is still connected, but we've done a test, that's isolated. System is drained, everything's done. We are going to start now, there shouldn't be no water in this. Cut it out. No, I, I, no, 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 I haven't. Right, so, Matt said he drained the system, but you didn't. Get it off now. So, we're going to start cutting these out. What's that? It's a call to it. Now, I've turned the water. Have you? Yeah, I'm not. Group 
this morning. Uh, you can send through us on the Jack app, WhatsApp, and let us know. Join in the fun. Uh, join our gang of people. We'll reply to every one of you that joins in as well. We'd love to hear from you. So what That's not good enough. Yeah. Well, I saw it. So we're trying to cut it out now. Get rid of this bro in no time. So we're going to cut all the hot cold blow up here. But you get it all gone. Get it all chased this wall. Matt is going to get the kangos. You're like, eh, 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 eh. We're not forgot that. Yeah, I might do that. No, you won't be doing that. Because you've got me wet. Bit of water, bit of water now, sorry. Gary Blight, now you love. Come on in. It's gassing off, innit? Safe that isolation. Of course it is. That took the job off now, which was. It took something in now, sorry. So you see now, it's all stripped out, Matt is just getting the fluid disconnected, we had to cut the boiling out, so parts to it. So, I'm going out there Matt. Class. So the boiler's out, we'll start getting everything uh, altered, all the service and stuff now. Oh, okay. So there's the top half, that was the actual boiler part, the fluid went in, burned apart. And obviously from here, hard uh, hard, hard up block, what you want to call it, straight down to it. And this was the main cast heat exchanger, that we, the full thing sat on. So that's all draining off now to be fair, that was full of water, you can see the amount of water just pouring all that. But we'll cut that in half and then that'll be easily done, get that slung straight in the skip. Now the other log there is ready to go, cylinder's in position so we're going to start getting chased out and these pipe works are uh, all altered now. We've got the large one on the corner this one, we have had to uh, adapt the shovel a little bit because it was going in the cylinder <coughs> in the airing cupboard outside and the plan was going to be Put the cylinder in position for it but when i've come to put the 210 litre cylinder it will be a bit tight so we're going to have to end up putting this on a vertical flow not an issue though lads are on the corner we've got ladders in the vertical roof ladder should i say so we're getting that done today plan today it's been tight turn on this one uh i want to get the system back up and running really boiler on get the hot water sand on working again i know it's going to be tight but again key for our client is keeping them going for the night hot water and heating the electricians are due tomorrow because i've got a lot of electrical work to do so we'll just get it going for tonight and um, we'll be back later on there's radiators and stuff to be fitted so So I found on a job like this what I like to do is uh, do all the demolition work first. I've chased all the wall out, I've cut all the services out now. Uh, these radiators as well as a radiator that's in the wall there. There was a radiator there, there was also a radiator there. A couple of services here, these need altering. So luckily we're going to use the floor boy, just chase some plastic pipes into there, run around, get them into the wall, swing around, pick up the hot on the cords. But I found that if I get all the demolition work done first, part of the ceiling taken down, be a big clear up and then once I've got everything cleared up I then can start hitting it again. So grafted, keep your sound, brand everything. So I'm gonna get all this tied up now. I've got the ceiling down there. I've not cut it 100% square because this is coming down but there's electric still in there so I've just cut rounds there and this will be getting cut along there by the builder and this is getting reboarded anyway and I'll get it plastered. So I'm chasing out it's all done, I'm getting underway, getting all this cleaned up, tidy done. Good to go, and then it's going to be a case of start getting all the services swung up, drill down, and get everything teed in where we need to. Tea break for Matty. So, all cleaned up. What time's it? Scrap? Dinner time now? 11 38, mate. Got uh, 22 minutes of graft left. My plan's going to be now, we'll quickly get that cylinder pipe. So, up here, what we've done. We've done all the chasing out now. That's really that. Have some dinner then, get piping. That's some dinner. So's gaffer. I've pulled the ceiling down. You see the square cut I've done there, Matt? Look how nice and square that is. Yeah, no. No, it's to leave the line so it looks tidy. Why didn't you just do it there then? <laughs> Should have. Like, why, why, why don't you just go straight down like that? Why, so, why have you done that? Why do you always have to say everything we do? Yeah, I know, but I'm just thinking, why, why don't you just go straight down like that? Right, how long have you been doing this game? How long have you been doing it? Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. The old there, right? Yeah, how long have you been doing it? Me? Uh, 22 years, isn't right, it? Right, I'm off for over here. So the cylinder's going here now, so you can see this one here. Float, return. No, sorry, hot, float, return. 
called, and I've drilled the gas for all there, but I'm going to have to swing it into this one here because it's quite tight to that duct in the fan, so we'll bring it full there, we we'll bring everything up, but uh, again, it's, it is an hard one at times, but when you've got a guy like this, I can't get my finger out of that. Number one item, that. What we've got to say about Pat? We've had dinner, we're back. He's back from the commercial site. So what we do, what's the plan now then, Matt? You'll take a bit of our fight at this job. Well, what needs to be doing, we need to send hot coal to gas. Yep. Yeah. What do you mean? We're going to cha I've chased the wall out already, so then they're good to go. Chase this out, coal may need to be sunk back in there. Yep. Then there's going to be a little latch out here so you can turn it off. Like that, like some good that. Reducing valve as well. Right, yep. See that, why put the pressure reducing valve on if there's one on the inventor cylinder? Because I didn't know there was one on, on the unbending cylinder. I was just doing that as a precautionary. Ah, that's good. Well, Education's key, isn't it, mate? We don't need to put one How long have you been with me now for, Matt? So, what are we doing here then, Matt? I don't know. <laughs> so, I've got a couple of on calls, cap on the floor. Do we use compression or push it on the floor? Push it. But no, we don't. We're going to solder reason beans because end feed solder. He told me to compression. <laughs> no, I said no, no, that's shit. <laughs> we said use end feed because it's a lot better, didn't we, Matty? No, I said that. <laughs> Just cut legs, he doesn't know what he's on about. So I've got my sawn chair in now. We'll sheet it up in this bedroom as well. Plenty of fittings now just to go. Laco, slick tight, best stuff to use. Good old barco, bonnet it's as we use. And the Nipex, these are the big ones, cat fan little ones, I've got to get them sorted. But I'm going to get this cylinder pre plumb now, so I'm going to get the hot, uh, the hot, the floor retained, cold, and the hot down. Then I can go downstairs and get a thing cracked on down there. And it's going to be boiler going up there, vertical flow out. So it's not so bad. These cylinders are a godsend to be fair, uh, just the fact of that they're pre plumbed. So we're well underway with this getting piped now. Uh, these are the great bits kits, these cylinders pre plumbed. They come all pre made, so we've got the balancing valve, control valve, uh, strain, and everything incorporated. Yeah, pressure relief valve, temperature relief valves already plumbed up, ready to go to this tun dish. They put an add on here, which I'm going to take the system boiler feed straight to this one to make it easy for us. What I mean by that is the pressure relief valve link here, this will go together, then I'm just drilling one pipe outside to take uh, the D2, D3 discharge pipe. The main hub of it, manifold here, it's all good to go. We've got our upstairs uh, hot water, heating for the full house. Now if we're splitting the zones upstairs and downstairs, you could be doing that there, putting another the zone valve, but I'll just cap that there. Might even put a zone, uh, leave on just for future reference. That is our main flow in, which then goes through. As the valves open, it sends them down there, but it also comes down the bar pass. We turn for our heating and then we turn back to the boiler. We're just getting the hot done now because a lot of the pipes are freestanding and come through the floor. Really, really handy little tip. Follow the hot pipe all the way down. If we just use our cutters there, we can literally just lock them on and it stops the pipe from falling below the floor. As you can see, just gives it a bit of stability while it's holding away from the pipe. So, I hope you like that one, guys. So, it's uh, 20 to 2. Matt's well underway with this now. Got all this. Uh, Exposed, ready to get the gas bowed in the wall, get the hot and cold sorted out, get the cold main sorted out, done. I've got an full of clips, I'm going to pop upstairs now. I'm starting to get most of this carcass in now uh, and get the boils on the wall and start getting the floor returns. Done to the boiler. Fortunately, lads are only working on the corner, well, I say on the corner, about five minutes down the road. Put their Camerton uh, up there with them and see how they go down that way. So, as soon as lads get complete, done what they need to get them down here, there's a few bits that they can be on with. Capping the radiator pipes, no bits, but that's the thing with the Ozzy Caprani. We are a team out on that. Shit one, but yeah, we are one. No, Matt, you have to go with it, don't you? To be fair, the one man handle you won this company itself, don't you? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. How does it feel being gaffer? I feel like there's a lot of expectation and pressure on my young shoulders. You've been doing it 12 years. So I feel like I'm perfect as well. <laughs> my management skills are second to none. I know how to get a team out of it. This kid. <laughs> <laughs> Back upstairs now, back at the cylinder cupboard, just underway with this, getting the pipes to boil, but any insulation we do, do uh, like I say, always fit a filter. We do tend to go for the max boilers, uh, that comes down with a filter, but can't stress enough how well these are to put on your heating system. These have been, any debris in the system gets caught inside, so. Inside that you can't take it out, but basically, the water gets forced in through here, it gets injected through this part here, it goes full of filter, then back out this way here. So you can see how it's forced to go in. It forces in there, gets flown around and pushes out. This little uh, metal adapter here goes inside. 
And what happens is, as the water enters, any iron debris, metal found, anything in the system gets caught in this. So on the annual service, we'll isolate the flows, return some both, take the filter out and just flush it out into a bucket. You'll be surprised the amount of debris that these in there. Hassle up the safe and also protect the heat exchanger on the boils, you know. Again, can't stress enough for the cost of them. The Ideal Max boils, you pay a little bit more for the boiler. They do come with them, but we cannot stress at the company Combined Plumbing and Eating, fit a filter on every boiler, as well as doing a chemical flush. So uh, we'll stop the video for a little bit because we're just literally up again to get the pipe work done. So cylinders all in now, all pipes. So I've got flow returns going to the manifold system there. Boils on the wall, uh, expansion vessels in. I'm just going to get in the way we're lagging it all. Filters installed, so that's all in. Uh, kept it nice and compact as we can. Gas goes down, flow return. Going to get all this lagged up quickly now. And then uh, look at the way Matt is still on me downstairs, and then I'm going to start attacking the vertical flow. It isn't looking too nice outside, it's uh, raining a little bit, but nonetheless, we're going to. Uh, I think we're dedicated now to be fair, so we're just going to crack on with this one. So we're still here. It is a. Uh, half five now just waiting for the lads to get in there tied up on a bathroom uh, they've had a bit of a nightmare on that job they're just phenomenally busy right now but it's not a bad thing for the company so we'll just keep moving forward so what i'm doing out here now is I'm just bring hole into the wall and the reason being i'm doing this is we're going to put an axis actually because the stop taps at the side of the wall but the customer actually wants to get rid of the stop top and tails so what i've said is we can sink it into the wall and put an access panel here and they've got constant air uh, access all the time so they can come outside pop that panel off and then just turn the stop top off so the inside the wall again the means to an end they want to make sure that the, the area where it's going where it was you'll see from where the boiler was they just want rid of it totally so this is the idea of coming because they just physically know the way without rerouting it taking all the floors up because they keep most of the solid oak floor, uh, floating floor so i'm gonna crack on with this get the rest of it uh, chased out So shawl chased out now, nice and square. Uh, we are going to put the openings there, but you can see I've done inside there. So I stitch drilled a nice square all the way through. This one will get placed here. The builder's going to place this. This full window's coming out. It's got to brick that up, brick the old floor up, and brick the old waste. So I've stitch drilled, and you can see there. I've also stitched and chased out this side as well. So I'm going to go on the inside, get that chased out. Let's go see my. See why, uh, what I've done, stitch drill through, and all these have come through here like this. So I'm just going to get this chased out now. Then the plan's going to be, we're just going to bury this alcove in the wall a little bit, spin the full stop tap round so the stop tap valve is actually at the other side, and then we are good to go. Out of my. You're not bothering, are you? What? I don't want to get off. You want to get off? Why? It's only half three. What time is it? No, it was only half four. It's 20 to 6. Pat and uh, local just on the way now. Just in the distance of there, uh, they're just about to land, aren't they? Here he is, just dropped off his helicopter. Now then. Seven yeah. days late on the job, but it don't matter. We're here as a team, we'll get done. What's this address? Don't know, Pat, what are you doing? He is to tell me now. The fans just want to see you and be like, what have you been up to, Pat? What have you been up to, Pat? You don't tell me on my phone. What do you mean? <laughs> you can't anyway, because they've just took the helicopter now, it's gone. I know the floor it's away. It's been dropped off. That's police, mate, they're looking for you. <laughs> That's a course guard, you puppet. <laughs> What are you doing here, Pat? Then so Pat just rocks up to the job. Oh, it's gone six. How's that's... that going to get on there? No, that's it. Literally, you just put that on like that. There we go. And Pat's just there, completing his ACS. Well. Pat's completing your ACS, aren't you? Yeah, trying. Final assessment. Trying so to. I'm going to assess him. What situation would you say is Pat had with all this? <laughs> sure. Because you're doing. Give me, give me the long cross. <laughs> Look at you. Twice. Do you like doing gas? Huh? Do you like it? Not. Well, I don't even do any, do I? Because <laughs> you, you never put me on any job. You just do bathrooms. <laughs> I'm gonna fail that, I'll fail my gas. No. No, of course you'll be some, mate. What I'll do you just need? Do the shoe gauge. Long grows. Wait there, Pat, yeah. <coughs> Bloody hell. Let's talk about longer. The fans love you. Which one does it go on? Again? Fans love you. Is it blood? This is what I mean, you're like, which one does it go on? You're not about doing your I always it. have to read it here. There we go. Apply pressure to blue connector only. Because <laughs> the board's not even there. The board doesn't even turn up. Yeah, but Pat, come on. <laughs> Look, Matt, Matt, what happened? So we've just completed the bathroom. Dad's have, lads have done a cracking job, Dad's, haven't they? The Dad's. lads have all done a good job, but Matt, what happened? Shut up. Man. Fucking hell, what did happen? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What, what did everything? Shit, it was like a carry on film. <laughs> Pat at one point rang me on uh, Monday night and was like, oh. mate, I can't go back to that job till I'm breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luke, I'm crying in the corner. 
Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I could tell you gave up for eight days to fit the toilet. <laughs> so we'll get his vertical floor done now. Uh, the lads are in there. I'm gonna go up here. The rope's gonna put the ladder. Health and safety, three points of contact all the time. I am really, really hoping that it's quite close. It's not too far, I can live with that. So what I've done, I've marked out for the ceiling outside. We're gonna pop this tile here, uh, whip this out, get the lead slate flashed into it, and then we're good to go, so get this out now. So I've taken the tile out now, I know where it is, so I'm gonna get the slate put in here. We'll drop the vertical terminal in and there, uh, off we go. So we might have to cut some of these tiles down, but once I get that slate slid into there, we're good to go with it. <laughs> So I've got the vertical kit out now, so these are my answers for it basically. That drops from there, we get out the box here. So what happens is, I'm going to go back up on the roof in a minute, should I say. But what happens is, these are like a pitch slate thermal, so that will sit on the roof like that. You drop the flue, but before you drop the flue in, this little fella here drops onto that. You can go, I guess better going that way. And you can see with the pitch on the van there, once I flash the lead in and everything like that, the flue to it will just drop straight in. Mount there and off we go. It is always better if you can put a vertical flow in. This one I wasn't planning on doing it, but with the height of the boiler and it being so tight and still in the cupboard, it's definitely going to be that we'll get a vertical flow point. So drop this in the roof space now and get the vertical terminal in. So I am now, I've only took one tile, but I've got quite a few up now. So I'm going to get this slate slid right up there, get it weather tight and sealed, and start putting all the tiles back in around it. And we're going to have to work with the uh, position weight layers because I don't want to be grinding any tiles because it'll end up being a bit of a nightmare. So we'll get it shoved back in, get the terracotta tiles put back, and we'll go wrap it and get the uh, turret dropped down. Can I borrow your torch? Right, I'll get home with walkies. I get a little point, mate. What we're under now? Video's back out there, it's got a bit of time. But now I'm just trying to bit patch up bed. Patch can't bend us. What do you mean? It's just that you know what's going on with this art. What? Do you want to Well, I was going to go there. Talk to me. So we are still here now, just going to get the wiring sorted out with this one, so I've uh, just took the old uh, wiring out the boiler. So we've got four corners here, the reason being is I need a permanent lav, neutral and lav, lav, neutral and lav, switch lav. So I've got Matty's hand on the torch because uh, I don't remember, left no walkie at Radders's, so I haven't got that. Boy, so I'm going to get this done now, drop the lav neutral there, throw a hole in the floor there, reason being is Spark is here tomorrow, they're going to get a switch fuel spare put in here, we can get it locked up. Gonna hook the half up, get it screwed to there, get it in the pre-wearing centre, off we go. Christian Dior, Christian Dior, Dior. when you're in your pores. Right, so that is all done, complete now. You must look at Seabed because it's so dark, but yep, it's been a long day. Uh, it's been a good one with the team, lads have just left now. Wage getting finished up. Might as give me hand just to get finished. It is now. I don't know what time it is to be fair. Don't need to get on now. I've got to pick some milk up. But uh, the main thing is the client's got hot water and heating again. So it's been a push. Got the S plan wired up. It was pretty kind of wired. So that made it easy for us to put the old hard back in. But we've got everything done. So big day again. Happy she's done. And uh, see you on the next video, guys. I'll go again with that one. See you on the next video, guys. Wait, are you mad bastard? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I'll talk.